Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is AI Behavior Tree Decorator? The is BB entry of class node. So let's go ahead and cover this. First of all, that's a long, annoying name, but it's short for is this a blackboard value of a given class? Now you can access the decorator from either a sequence or a task node. You can right click, add decorator, and this one's shorthanded to is BB entry of class. And this is the result you're going to get. Now, by default, of course, you're going to have none for the key, but whenever you click on a decorator the first time, it's going to try to find a valid match. Now, your class itself is going to be set to none. Your Blackboard key will be whatever your first match is, and then your Observer or Ports will be set to none. Now, what would we use this for? Well, this is basically a way to check and see if the class you're testing against matches a Blackboard key's value. So, for my example here, I'm going to go ahead and show you it working. I have my generic character which is my player, and then I have my blackboard key, a player. Now if I go ahead and run this, what you're going to see is, well, it works. It works like expected. It checks. My service here is updating my player object with player. It's a generic character. This is checking to see if it is of type generic character for the player, which it is. And then it runs my sequence, which is a move to. Now, since I'm not using any other decorators to make sure we're already there and things like that, it's it's going to keep continually trying this loop. Now, what would this be good for? Well, let's say, for example, you have multiple enemies in your game. And you only really want to use one behavior tree, but some enemies have different parameters or some enemies have different abilities that you're allowing them to use. Well, you can segregate and use one behavior tree for multiple enemies by using the is it of the player class. So let's say for example, we had this here. And let's say we had another sequence here. And we put r is bb entry. Oops, of class, let's actually choose the right one. And then we'll have this one do a move to as well. And we'll have this moving to the player's location. Actually, that would be funny. If you had the player move to the AI and the AI move to the player, it would just be rounding in circles. But that was slightly off topic. So let's say you have your AI, which apparently I can't not spell. There we go. So let's say you have an AI character. Right now, for our example, we only have one, but let's say you had five of them. And let's say each one of these is a different one. Let's go ahead and we'll set this one up so it fails. We're going to make sure this is invalid. We're just going to check and see if our player is equal to... Uh, do we have a box in here? We'll see if the player is equal to a scale box. Why not? And if so, it's going to execute this sequence. Now, if not, it's going to go ahead and execute this one, which is, is a blackboard value of a class. And we're checking if our AI enemy, which is our self, which we've stored here, is equal to generic AI character. And if so, we execute this node. Now, if we go ahead and run this, and we check it out, you're gonna find it fails. Well, it fails because in here, I haven't set the AI character yet. If you look down here, AI character was not set, now it is. Now it goes back to none. And you notice when that happened, this stopped running. So in our scenario here, let me run it again and let you watch it. You're gonna see our AI enemy be none, and nothing will match, so nothing runs. Then we get a valid AI enemy, so this branch runs. And then our AI enemy disappears, which means this branch will now fail. And since both of them fail on our selector, we go all the way back to our root. So let's run this. Everything's failing, none for the AI enemy. We get a valid AI enemy. We're now running this branch, since this branch is invalid. Our AI enemy will become none again. Once this finishes, we go ahead and it goes back to the top. Now, if I want it to abort normally, you can use your flow control for observer aborts, and I could abort immediately, for example, if it immediately changed. So that is what our is blackboard value of class, or in shorthand in here, it's the is BB entry of class decorator notice four. It's for comparing a Blackboard entry 
against a class and seeing if they're the same. And a good use for it, as you can see here, is to allow you to have one generic or universal behavior tree that has different behaviors depending on what you're testing against. In this case, each of these could be enemy 1, enemy 2, enemy 3, and you wouldn't have to rewrite the same basic AI or behavior tree for everything. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.